Even though the world's eyes are still on the big brands that have dominated smartphones for over a decade, what has just emerged from Tesla's workshops could be the beginning of a new era. In 2026, Elon Musk not only dared to enter a territory dominated by giants like Apple, but also brought with him an innovation that is challenging what the market considered unquestionable. The Tesla Pi phone's battery not only breaks the traditional lithium standard, but sets a new benchmark in thermal safety, something the competition still tries to counter with workarounds disguised as innovation. The promise is simple, but bold. A phone that never explodes, doesn't overheat, and lasts for decades. At the heart of this advancement is aluminum ion technology, which replaces the much criticized flammable lithium. The anode, made of pure aluminum, works in conjunction with a graphene cathode that not only increases thermal efficiency, but also transforms the battery structure itself into a natural heat sink. This isn't just marketing hype. Internal tests show that, even under intense use, the device's temperature doesn't exceed 100 degrees Celsius, something unthinkable for an iPhone 17, which has already reached 115 with the screen merely on. The difference is dramatic and noticeable in practice, not just in the technical specifications. Graphene, in fact, works magic in this context. It dissipates heat 10 times faster than graphite, which prevents the so-called hot spot, the buildup of heat that can lead to a short circuit or, in extreme cases, an explosion. Meanwhile, the electrolyte used in the Pi phone's battery is salt-based, a compound that remains stable even above 400 degrees. This means that even if punctured, crushed, or exposed to the scorching sun at a beach, the Tesla battery won't catch fire. It simply warms up a bit and continues to function. It's intriguing to think that, in 2026, smartphones are still being launched with structures that are essentially potential bombs. The iPhone 17, for example, even with its new vapor chamber and a silicon anode capable of retaining more lithium, continues to suffer from internal expansion, localized heat generation, and, of course, fire risk. It seems absurd. But every advancement in energy storage, when poorly managed, brings a new safety issue, something Tesla has addressed at its root by completely rethinking battery chemistry. Besides being efficient, this battery is also thin. It's only 3, 8 millimeters thick compared to the competitor's 5.2 meter, and has 18% more capacity. It seems contradictory, but it's not. Aluminum provides greater energy density, with less thickness. This not only makes the device lighter and more elegant, but also allows more internal space for other components, such as the passive cooling system and the ultra-high resolution cameras expected to be integrated into the final version of the Pi phone. One detail that no one talks about, but that changes everything. The battery's thickness directly influences thermal dissipation. The thinner it is, the faster heat escapes. Another surprising aspect is its performance under intense load. In internal tests, the Pi phone was set to record 8K videos for over five hours straight, and the device's body temperature never exceeded 93 day tours. This is almost 30 degree tours lower than the average for current premium smartphones during prolonged use. The feeling of security is immediate. You can hold the device for hours in your pocket, on your face, or even leave it charging on your pillow without fear of waking up to the smell of melted plastic. It's a level of peace of mind simply unavailable in traditional devices. And if anyone still doubts this, just think about how many times you've turned off a phone because it got too hot. How many missed calls, canceled videos, or leisure moments interrupted because the device screamed for help? That doesn't happen here. The Pi phone breaks the overheating cycle with a rare combination of good engineering and boldness. Elon Musk didn't just create another phone. He created a game changer that forces the rest of the industry to rethink its priorities. If the aluminum ion battery already seemed revolutionary in itself, what comes next is even more exciting. Tesla decided to go a step beyond passive safety and introduce an active protection system based on artificial intelligence. 
a first for smartphones. Instead of waiting for heat to build up and then trying to dissipate it later, as Apple still does with the iPhone 17, the Pi phone anticipates risks and acts in real time. Each battery cell features microscopic thermal sensors that measure temperature every 0.1 seconds. That's right, 10 readings per second per cell. This data is sent directly to a neural processor embedded in the device itself. This AI not only monitors, but also learns from usage. It identifies patterns that indicate potential future overheating and automatically adjusts the charging current. If you start playing games, opening heavy apps, or charging in the sun, the system recognizes this behavior and reduces the power before heat even appears. Instead of 50 watts, for example, it can reduce it to 20 watts instantly, intelligently maintaining thermal balance. And if any cell exceeds the limits, say, exceeds 140 dWh due to an unexpected spike, a semiconductor circuit breaker kicks in and isolates only that specific cell. This prevents the so-called domino effect of heat, which could compromise the entire battery. In other words, there's no need to shut down the device, nor is there a risk of fire. The damage is contained automatically and imperceptibly. This technology puts Tesla far ahead of the competition, which still relies on reactive physical solutions like vapor chambers or limited heat sinks. The curious thing is that all of this happens without the user noticing. There are no crashes, no annoying alerts, no noticeable performance drop. AI works behind the scenes, like an invisible nervous system, silently protecting the device's core. It's almost as if the phone has a sixth sense, a built-in self-preservation instinct that reacts even before the body heats up. Technology like this not only protects the device, but also changes the way we trust it. After all, who hasn't been afraid to sleep with their phone charging next to their pillow? This fear, in fact, was the trigger for the development of Tesla's thermal prediction system. Elon Musk reportedly questioned why, in the age of AI, there are still phones that simply wait for it to heat up before cooling down. This is where the idea of incorporating predictive algorithms, similar to those used in self-driving cars, into thermal management came from. The same logic that prevents a Tesla from crashing now prevents a cell phone from exploding. A bold parallel, but one that makes perfect sense when considering the brand's mission. And this innovation also redefines the user's relationship with charging. There's no longer any need to monitor the time or use specific chargers. AI adapts everything so the device is always within the safe zone without burning your hands or raising expectations. The user experience becomes more fluid, predictable, and reliable. Something that seems simple, but eliminates one of the biggest modern anxieties. Will my phone overheat again? With the Pi phone, that question doesn't even exist. Sure, all of this may sound like science fiction to those stuck in the traditional ecosystem, but Tesla isn't kidding. Internal tests show that even during extended 8K recording, the device's temperature remains around 93 to 3 to chip. That's almost 30 degrees Fahrenheit lower than Apple still considers acceptable. And the difference isn't just in the numbers. It's felt in your hand, in the peace of mind of charging in the car, in your pocket, or even under your blanket, without the fear of waking up to the smell of a melted battery. It's safe to say the Pi phone is the first smartphone that truly considers its own well-being. And, consequently, that of the user. AI-based thermal prevention technology isn't just an evolution. It's a quantum leap in terms of personal safety and durability. And it's precisely this kind of advancement that paves the way for another, even more impressive layer of protection. Total physical armor. Thermal safety is essential, but what happens when your phone slips from your hand and hits the concrete floor? Most smartphones today still rely on fragile cases and batteries glued directly to the frame. This is the case with the iPhone 17, where a drop can transfer the full force of the impact directly to the heart of the device, the battery. In the Tesla Pi phone, this is completely different. 
Elon Musk decided it was time to treat the smartphone like a micro-vehicle with true impact absorption, structural reinforcement, and physical redundancy to protect the most sensitive components. The Pi phone's body is constructed from aerospace-grade T6 L4V titanium alloy, already known for its use in rockets and Formula One cars. This material ensures extreme strength while remaining lightweight. But the secret isn't just titanium. The entire external structure of the phone is coated with a 3-micrometer layer of graphene, which helps distribute impact across the entire surface, like liquid armor. Instead of concentrating the force on a specific point, as on the edges of iPhones, the Pi phone intelligently dissipates impact, like the chassis of a race car. And that's not all. The Tesla Pi phone's battery isn't glued to the case, as is the case in almost all current premium models. Instead, it's suspended from a central support with four internal shock absorbers filled with a special thickening gel. This gel has a curious property. It remains malleable during normal use, but instantly hardens upon impact. It's as if the battery were cradled by an invisible airbag system, which only deploys when needed. This means that a drop that would generate about 100 kiloliters of force on an iPhone's battery is equivalent to just 10 or 15 kiloliter on the Pi phone. The difference is dramatic and decisive. Less impact means less risk of internal short circuits, cracks in the cell casing, or deformations that compromise the battery's chemical integrity. And when the battery's integrity remains intact, the risks of overheating, fire, or total device failure virtually disappear. It's a cycle of protection that begins with design and ends with user peace of mind. Furthermore, the Pi phone's internal design separates the battery from other components. The motherboard, camera system, and sensors are organized into separate compartments, preventing a single impact from compromising multiple components simultaneously. The logic is clear if one component suffers an impact, the others continue to function. It's the same principle as the independent modules in Tesla electric cars, now adapted to the palm of your hand. A concept no one in the smartphone market has dared to implement until now. Even in extreme tests, such as drops from heights of over 1.5 meters onto uneven surfaces, the Pi phone demonstrated incredible resilience. The body absorbs, the gel cushions, the graphene distributes, and the battery emerges unscathed. And this without the need for thick cases, silicone cases, or heavy protective films. The phone is armored from the ground up. This completely changes the way you use the device on a daily basis. No more fear of dropping it. No more carrying around a case that ruins the design. It's a phone ready for real life, not just for mall displays. And this resistance isn't just physical. Chemical shielding also comes into play, blocking unwanted reactions after impact. The MechChem Shield System, a combination of mechanical and chemical protection, ensures that even internal deformations don't release dangerous gases or trigger exothermic reactions. In other words, it's not enough for a phone to survive a fall. It needs to remain safe afterward. And in this regard, the Pi phone is miles ahead of any competitor. The protection is so effective that, for the first time, a cell phone approaches the concept of unbreakable under normal conditions of use. And this redefines expectations. But Elon Musk didn't want to stop there. Because even if the device survives violent impacts, there's still a silent enemy that stalks all mobile devices. Water. And that's where the Pi phone reveals another ace up its sleeve. Water is undoubtedly one of the most insidious threats to any electronic device. It doesn't take much. A splash in the sink, a spilled glass, a rain-soaked pocket, or even steam from the bathroom. And while many phones today boast certifications like IP68, the truth is that these protections are limited, temporary, and in most cases, begin to fail after just a few months of use. Elon Musk once again decided not only to improve this aspect with the Pi phone, 
He simply reinvented how a smartphone can resist water, humidity, and oxidation. Unlike traditional models, which rely on rubber seals, glues, and extremely precise fittings, the Pi phone relies on two layers of shielding using intelligent nanotechnology. The first layer is made of a highly flexible nanopolymer, which covers the entire battery compartment like a second skin. This material penetrates every micro crevice in the structure and, upon hardening, forms a perfect seal, eliminating the need for gaskets or seals that wear out over time. The result? A uniform and long-lasting blockage against any type of liquid. The second layer is even more interesting. Inspired by the lotus leaf effect, this protection creates a surface that literally repels water. With a contact angle between 150 and 160 degrees, any droplet that touches the interior or body of the device simply slides off, unable to stick. This hydrophobic effect goes beyond aesthetics. It protects against humidity, hand sweat, skin oil, and even condensation that occurs during sudden temperature changes. These are small details that, over time, corrode circuits in any other device. But perhaps the most impressive detail of all is the self-repairing ability of these protective layers. If the structure suffers a scratch, a light bump, or even a superficial cut, the nanopolymer temporarily softens in the affected area, redistributes itself, and hardens again, resealing the vulnerable area. This process takes between 10 and 15 seconds and can restore up to 99% of the original seal. It's almost as if the phone had living skin that heals itself. A futuristic concept, but one already in operation in Tesla's lab. This type of protection is a game changer, especially in tropical humid countries or those with sudden temperature fluctuations. Anyone who's seen a phone die from bathroom steam or moisture accumulated in a gym bag understands the drama. And what's worse, most manufacturers don't cover these damages under warranty, even with water resistance certification. With the Pi phone, this concern simply disappears. Protection is at the core of the design, not in makeshift adhesives that degrade after six months. And it's not just the battery that benefits from this ceiling. All of the device's modules, speakers, microphones, cameras, and even the charging port are encapsulated within the same intelligent membrane. This eliminates the need for rubber caps, fragile holes, or dubious solutions. Even the magnetic charging connector is designed to prevent water buildup. It's as if the smartphone breathes through an invisible armor, capable of adapting, protecting, and healing itself. The user experience changes completely. You can answer a call in the rain, use GPS with your phone attached to your bike on a muddy trail, or simply leave your device on the edge of the sink while washing dishes. None of this will be a problem. There's no longer any fear of splashes, sweat, steam, or invisible moisture. And this frees the user to live with the device instead of constantly shielding it from the real world. Tesla's logic was simple. If a car needs to withstand storms, frost, and extreme heat, why should a smartphone be so fragile? This philosophy is reflected in every layer of the Pi phone.